When we went on our pilgrimage to Bhutan, I wasn't intending to become a Buddhist, and I didn't. I was intending, though, to deepen my understanding of myself and others and of my own spiritual standing. And that did happen. Perhaps it started on our first day with the statue of Guru Rinpoche, whose eyes seemed to be following me around a room in a small museum near a temple. That was weird. <laughs> and then I noticed that the chest of the statue seemed to be moving as if it were breathing. Whoa. Well, maybe it was the altitude, although no one else in our group had that experience. Maybe it was the altitude medication. At any rate, with that experience, I began paying special attention to the stories about Guru Rinpoche. He's also called Padmasambhava. He's known as the second Buddha. He was active in the 8th century and is still honored in parts of his home country of India and in Tibet and Bhutan. So this revered figure left many spiritual treasures to be found later by Tirtan, or treasure hunters, treasure discoverers more. During our time in Bhutan, Reverend Aaron urged us to listen to the stories and to behave as if they might be true. One day, we went to a sacred site called Mebartso, Burning Lake. We spent more than an hour there hearing a story and looking at the lake and meditating and sharing our reflections, and that's where it made contact for me. The story is that in the late 15th century, a holy man named Pema Lingpa had a vision in which Padmasambhava, my very own Guru Rinpoche, revealed some of the spiritual treasures to him. He said that they were hidden under the waters of this lake, which is not so much a lake as kind of a wide spot in the river with very steep stony banks and right near a, a little rapids. So he told this story, and of course people didn't believe him. And Pema, Pema Lingpa said, well, come and watch as I dive into the lake, and then you'll see that it's true. And on the appointed day, all the people watched as Pema Lingpa dove into the lake, holding in his hand a burning butter lamp. He dove into the lake, and he was gone a long time. And of course, people pretty much assumed that he was not coming back. But then he appeared, holding a sealed chest and a scroll, the treasures. He was also holding that butter lamp, and it was still burning. And that's why they call it the burning lake. Pemalingpa's lamp was still burning. I find this a very soulful image. Think of the times of trouble or even of deep joy when you have felt compelled to go deep within yourself, into your soul. It's a good idea to take a light with you, a light from your upper world, your conscious self, if you will. Maybe it's a sense of faith, a conviction that everything will be OK if only you can figure this out. Maybe it's not that much. Maybe it's just a little shred of hope that Maybe things will eventually be OK. Maybe the lamp is the guidance of a therapist or a, or, a, or a mentor or a dear friend. Maybe it's just the steady, patient presence of a waiting loved one. But you take this metaphorical, flaming, spiritual lamp with you to help you as you enter your depths. 
and there in the depths you are a pilgrim, a treasurer discoverer. There deep in that soul, with that little flame, you explore your pain or your joy, and while you are there, that is when you are the pilgrim, the treasure discoverer. You become wiser, maybe more compassionate, more fully aware. And eventually you surface back into everyday life with the treasure of that wisdom, that compassion, that dawning awareness, that hint of a vision. And you still have your light, your faith, your hope, your guide, your loved one. That's your burning lamp, the light that remains with you after your dive. So did Pema Lingpa really dive into the lake with a burning lamp that stayed lit? Yeah, not so sure. Did Guru Rinpoche Padmasambhava really distribute spiritual treasures to be found centuries later? I don't know. Maybe. But I do know that there are treasures to discover deep in our own souls. All we need is the courage and the light to carry with us. <laughs>